Hey guys, this is Al from TechandCompany.com. Today I'm going to be making a video to explain to you how to add products to WordPress using WooCommerce and also make changes with your WooCommerce platform. All right, so let's get started. All right, the first thing you want to do is, of course, log in to your uh, e-commerce platform or your WordPress um, admin area okay so that's what you want to do first so you log in to your WordPress admin area once you come into your dashboard it's gonna look of course a little different so I'm not gonna show you my dashboard but just know that it should look something like this on the side now what happens here is that you're gonna go here and you're gonna click on the word products All right. now there's two ways that you can add products to your WordPress site of course you can add products by clicking here or clicking here alright so if you don't have any products you're not gonna see anything in this product area right here but since we already loaded products on because we want to show you how to also edit products that you already have loaded uh, we're gonna do that a little later on so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and click on the top where it says add products alright next the next thing that's going to happen is that the new product page is going to be loaded. You're going to put in the product name or product description right here, um, the name of the product, and uh, you know just something that would make it sound attractive that somebody would want to buy it. All right. Then you want to go in putting as much information as you can um, in a product description. So you want to put that product description in right here. And then if you are doing your SEO, you want to make sure you put your keywords here and a comma after each important keyword. And then you want to put your meta tags in here. You watch your, your character count and you want to make sure that you put the meta tags as it relates to that product there. All right. Now, this is a very important area here. This is your product data information. Now, this is the stuff that actually sets up the price of your product on your website so what happens here is typically um, if you've already added product or if let's say you've hired a web designer and he added the product and now you're in a situation where he didn't train you on how to edit your site and you don't know what you're doing sometimes you won't see any information here okay now here's the important thing I want to make um, this is how it will look when you don't have a product um, and you're just starting putting a new product on there. This is how it's going to look. Okay, It's not going to look like that sometimes when you come back. Uh, this There may be nothing there. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. But basically, you want to go ahead and you want to put in um, the regular price. If there's a sales price, you can put in that. But typically, people use the regular price. The SKU right here is usually used for manufactured products so that you can recognize what manufacturer uh, it's coming from. So when you place your order with them, you'll kind of know that and you can keep track of your inventory and so on and so forth. Okay. And then what we want to do, I want to I want to focus on like this, this area here, uh, the product short description. So what some people do is they just basically come up here to the top copy everything that was in here and they paste it down here okay that's cool if you want to do that um, I like a short description that's a little bit more fun and witty in that area but you know you can do whatever you want to do All right now in these areas over here on the side let me talk about this um, basically this is the area where you can actually um, upload images the images that are going to appear on the website that identifies that product and so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to show you how that works basically what happens is you'll be taken to the media library if you don't have any pro if you don't have any pictures don't worry about it you're not going to see anything here so don't get alarmed if you don't see any pictures this is a site that has to do with selling specialty soaps so um, and they're handmade soap so that's why it looks like that all right so here's the other thing um, there is an area to upload the files so you can upload files from your compute computer and then what happens is they'll appear in this media library you just click on them and they'll be set as your 
um, product image and you're going to see a description come over in this area over here. Um, I'm not going to do that because the product's already fine the way it is. So I'm not going to change a thing because I don't. I already have this product loaded and I'm not going to add a new product. Okay. All right. Now let's talk about um, what happens after you load all this information in. You got the pictures up. Um, you put in the, the um, some tags separated by the commas. You've got the product category picked out. And then the last thing that you do is you hit publish. If you don't hit publish, guess what? Nothing's published. All right. So you want to make sure you hit publish and then you'll be able to check it um, after that. And I'll show you how that looks in a little bit. All right. So let's go to another product. Let's now let's talk about editing the product. And I'm going to explain to you one of the common problems that people have now if the product is in now this is just a sample product but let's say the product is in and you wanted to change the price or something in the description or whatever you want to you clicked on products then you're gonna see your products there the product you just loaded or what have you then you want to click on edit Then once you click on edit what's gonna happen is everything that you already put in about that product is already going to be populated over and then you're going to go and then you are going to make the changes now like I said before sometimes you'll see it look like this let me show you what the it doesn't have anything there and you're wondering well, how do I change the price you know what am I doing all right well the reality is is because this setting got switched to variable product so what you want to do is switch it back to simple you'll get this little notice up here but you, that's okay you just hit okay and then you can change the price of the product okay and then you also can change inventory information um, shipping information and then we'll talk more about the shopping cart issues and and how to change those things when we talk about the other thing all right now any changes you make you want to make sure you hit update and then it'll change it uh, on the website all right now let's talk about the WooCommerce section all right now remember that the WordPress is really for the site design and um, it's providing a CMS which is basically a content management system but the WooCommerce is your shopping cart so this is the part that controls your ability to make money on the site and collect payments all right so let's let's look at that all right so the the main thing that you want to focus on is you want to focus on this area you click on woocommerce then you're going to see this you want to click on settings all right now across the top you're going to see the main settings for your shopping cart now the main thing that people worry about is this they worry about the taxes so we click on that and then you can enable your taxes or so on and so forth you can set all of, all of that and you can go in and then you hit save changes at the bottom okay then what happens the next thing that people worry about is the shipping information they want to make sure that the pro the the product gets shipped correctly so what happens is you pick what you want to enable you look at that and then if it's flat rate shipping free shipping international delivery whatever your your um, plan is you click on those things right here and then you hit save changes okay then once you hit save changes you're done all right now that is basically it for the training on that it's uh, just the basics of how to uh, add a product and also make sure that you can edit using WooCommerce now this is what I will say if you guys are having some problems if you're getting frustrated if you this is your first time doing this and you don't know what you're doing or you're getting you know just sick of dealing with the tech stuff well then give us a call at uh, tech and company uh, dot com our contact information is always located below our videos alright guys um, it's been our pleasure to help you. I'll talk to you later and have a great day.